Hello, Kylie here from the Academy of Wedding and Event Planning and the Wedding and Event Institute. I'm coming to you from my, what I would consider fairly cosy office at the moment, with my fire behind me, to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We have many followers, readers of our blog, students and industry colleagues who have all helped us to have a successful year, so it's our turn to say thank you. So what I would like to do is give you some Christmas tips on what you can be doing if you're looking at getting into the world of weddings and events in 2014, as well as those of you that are studying already to get into the world of weddings and events. In the year, or this past year, we've really embraced video. Um, and so today is the very first of what I hope will be a fair amount of vlogs that I will be doing for you in 2014. Kind of a behind the scenes time with Kylie. You don't get to meet us very often. We are a distance learning company. All of our courses are offered by e-learning. So I think sometimes it's nice for you to know who it is who's behind the Academy and the Institute and what it is that we do every day. So here are my Christmas tips. Firstly, you need to start thinking like a wedding or event planner. And the way you can do that is by immersing yourself in the world of weddings and events. Start reading the blogs of the people that you admire, the people that you aspire to be like, those that really excite you when you see their designs, the ones that make you go, wow, I want to be like them. Follow them, read their blogs, look at the pictures on Pinterest of the things they pin, have a look at their events on Instagram and follow their feeds on Twitter. You will learn an awful lot from people that are already in the industry that have already made their name in the industry and who already know what it takes to be successful in the industry. So start doing your homework now. Another thing you can be doing is do a SWOT analysis. Find out your strengths and weaknesses. See what areas it is that you need to work on before you get started. Figure out what your strengths are because those things are gonna be the things that move you forward in this industry. Your weaknesses are the areas that we're here to help you develop and make you stronger on. Do your research. Subscribe to as many wedding and event blogs as you can and really start to read and immerse yourself in everything that you possibly can that will help you further your career. Be prepared to work hard too. You know, weddings and events isn't about standing around looking pretty and drinking champagne. In fact, it couldn't be further from the truth. When you're running an event, you are working long hours, anything from a 12 to a 15 hour day. Your feet hurt at the end of it. You are constantly having to be on your game because people are turning to you, whether it's your vendors who are wanting to know what to do next, whether or not it's a minor emergency or your clients looking for you to ask you to do something or change something. You've got to be on form 100% of the time when you're out at an event and it is absolutely shattering. You need to be physically fit and you need to be ready for that. The other thing you need to remember is this is not a social job. It's not nine till five and there is a lot of weekend work available or a lot of weekend work that you will have to do. Most events are held on a weekend. They're not held on a Monday night. So make sure that you're prepared for the fact that a lot of your weekends are going to be accounted for once you become a planner. What else can you do? Well, think about different industries that are related to events. So one big industry is the colour industry. And Pantone, who are the leaders in this, the authority on colour, are always releasing the latest and greatest colours that are going to be big for the following season. So subscribe to them. Make sure you know about the latest colours before anybody else does. Part of the trick of getting far in this industry is being one step ahead and being ahead of the game. Showing people that you're an innovator. Showing people that you actually know what you're talking about and what you're doing. Another industry you should follow is interior design. Anything that's happening in interior design will filter its way through into what we're doing when we're creating design and photo shoots and that type of thing. So look at what's big in interior design. Look at the types of chairs, look at the cloth they're using, look at the, the types of decor that are filling the screens when you read the interior design blogs. Fashion is of course another huge area that we look to for inspiration. So start to look at what's coming out in the big fashion websites. Follow it, see what's happening because this is gonna be the type of thing that your brides are looking for from you. Finally, there's architecture. 
Now that's not quite such an obvious one, but if you think about it, the structure of a building is not so different from how you structure an event. Obviously building a house, it's a permanent structure, but when you're building an event, it's a temporary one. But the principles are still the same. So it's good to have a look at what's big in architecture so that you can start to have some of that follow through within the design of your events. And finally, you need to remember, when you're working on a wedding, it's not your wedding. Now, don't get me wrong. We have many, many brides who have started one of our courses, completed our courses, and are now running their own successful business. And the passion came from the fact that they had actually planned and designed their own wedding. But what you have to remember that planning and designing somebody else's wedding is very different to planning and designing your own. Your tastes don't count. It's what the bride and groom want. So you've got to remember that this is not about you. It's about them. And finally, my last tip, you need to be passionate about this industry. If you're not, it simply won't work. It's hard work and you have got to put a lot of blood and sweat and tears into this to make it work. Trust me, I've been there. So if you're not passionate about weddings, if you're not passionate about events, then don't come into the industry. On the other hand, if you are passionate about weddings and events, then be sure to look us up in 2014. We have lots of great tutors working for us. We have some fantastic students who are already acting as mentors to the new students coming through. And we would love to help you launch your new business in 2014. So that all that's left for me to say to you is have a very Merry Christmas, have a Happy New Year, and I look forward to seeing you all in 2014.